Okay, well, uh, it's about the third day. Well, it's about the third. Wait, let's see. When I bought this, bought this like, let's see, Tuesday, Tuesday, bought it Tuesday. I bought it on Tuesday. I brought it home, and the first thing I started doing, I started like, I was like, I was all pumped. I was gonna start working on this thing. So what I happened so far is I've got this interior out. I pulled out the back seats. I got all the bolts pulled out. I pulled out. This is the passenger seat. I got all the bolts out of there. This is the center column. I got that out. This is uh the muffler inside is broken, and it came with the muffler I need to fix it. So that's the muffler. I just gotta repair that. And this little old cooler we have, I have all the parts I need in there, or all the screws and stuff. I just threw them in there. So right now, what it is inside, this is as far as I got before it got dark and I had to go inside, is maybe it's a bad idea to rip this up against that. What I did do that day though, I did rip the door apart. I had the center panel off, but uh, and I tried to fix the latch was broken and my dad did something with it and I, he fixed it technically now it opens or it's supposed to now it opens on this side but when I was messing with it trying to get it to work I noticed that right up here on this latch this little where is it right here that little metal thing right there broke that's kind of important <laughs> uh, because that little metal thing right there is supposed is what activates this lever because when you turn the knob that moves and it pushes this back which pulls metal this metal thing right here down and that's what opens this up so what I'm about to do is I'm about to take out this last seat I'm gonna unbolt these right here or you have to starve it I'm gonna either way I'm gonna unbolt this and I'm gonna rip everything else out of here and I'm gonna hose down this whole thing and scrub it out and make it all shiny and clean on the inside again. And then, uh, I guess just start what I can. Thankfully, and I got the seatbelt back there back out. I put some good beauty 40 there. So these little seams, I need, I need to rip those out from the old carpet. Anyway, so I got pretty much everything cleared out. I'm pretty sure that's water. I mean, it's a Jeep, so I'm gonna try not to spray it on this stuff. I'm gonna scrub all that. But right here, I'm just gonna get a hose and a sponge, and I'm just gonna start putting stuff through this drain. But first, I'm gonna move it back just a little bit because it's really close. So I'm just gonna kind of scoot it back, hopefully, and uh. But there's no seats in there, so this is gonna be interesting. Don't worry, I got this though. Okay, see. Crazy, that thing actually runs really, really, really smooth, really well for 3K cash. It's in great condition, guys. It's just. Uh, this is an older Jeep, and everyone knows the older Jeeps are just, I don't know, they're just more of the old truck look, so, yeah. I don't know, I just love, maybe I just love it, maybe I'm just biased because it's my Jeep. <laughs> attention and hit my elbow on the side of the thing and apparently I hit it so hard it's bleeding. Ouch. I don't know what I did. I guess I just skinned it just right. Anyway, I got a bristle brush. This thing's just rough and nice. It's going to get all those scrubber leaves where the dirt is. And I was going to put on shorts but I could kind of care less. What I am going to do 
gonna take my shoes off, maybe roll it will take a little bit. My socks are like worth nothing, so it's gonna get a little wet here in a second. Scrubbing out this old jeep. So I'm going to turn off the video here, finish cleaning this thing out with the camera so hopefully it doesn't fall. I'm a little worried about falling off this ladder I'm using. I'm going to clean it out and then I'll show you what I've done after I finish it.